focus groups um, are the technique that dominates the field in the English written scientific lit literature, but there are different approaches to data coll collection in groups in terms of style of the moderator, presentation of questions, topics, and the way data are analyzed. In this presentation, I will briefly introduce a series of group techniques utilized in qualitative research to later focus on discussion groups. Following the Ibanez and the uh, Madrid School of Social Theory. Uh, based on our research about midwives' experiences uh, dealing with later still birth delivery, my presentation will address some of the features of planning and setting up discussion groups. Uh, the group comp composition, number uh, and size of groups, sample and frames, decisions about the room, the moderator, the recording, the transcription, uh, or the running group discussions. So, so this session has some aims. Well, the overall aim of the seminar is to discuss the ideas about how to do qualitative research with groups, but we are going to uh, follow some of these objectives in this session. We are trying to identify different uses of uh, group, groups for data generation in qualitative research. Also to explore uh, mainly focus groups and discussion groups. And finally, we want to illustrate the use of discussion groups in research about a stillbirth. So this is how we are going to structure the session. First of all, we are exploring different kinds of groups for research. Then we are going to have some group dynamic. What is your experience using groups for research pur purposes? talking together about that, about your experience, and then uh, sharing uh, and having some feedback about this experience. And uh, we are then focusing in focus groups and discussion groups. And finally, we are using discussion groups in a qualitative inquiry about stillbirth. And uh, of course, at the end, we hope, I hope we, have, we can have a nice and um, fruitful discussion. Mm? with some of your thoughts and questions. So, um, let us talk about groups. Let us talk about groups as uh, um, data generation um, strategy. So, we, well, I, are there to what Morgan and Krugman a statement uh, about what focus groups are and are not in their famous The Focus Group Kit. They say that focus groups are not groups that do not involve research. They say also that focus groups are groups or are not groups that are not focused or groups that do not engage in discussion. So. Uh, based on this, we propose this classification of groups for data generation. So, groups that do not engage in discussion, and we've put here the nominal groups and the dirty groups, community interviews that are almost in the middle, and groups that do engage in discussion, and we are talking about the focus groups and discussion groups. But, um, talking about different authors, and you have uh, as, mo as much classifications as authors you can read. Uh, for example, following Green, Judith Green, in the third edition of Qualitative Methods for Health Research, she calls group interviews to all these things, to the gathering data techniques that provide access to interaction between participants to have some insight of how social knowledge is produced. And she follows Corelli's, Corelli's sorry, typology based on simple strat strategies and aims. And thus she includes, like here, consensus panels, uh, Delphi groups, non groups, consensus conference, and even brainstorming, 
that are gathered to come to some agreement about an issue, such as priorities for healthcare spending, the agenda uh, of research, uh, or even guidelines for clinical practice. Hmm? Then she, uh, well, she mentioned also, she mentions community interviews, and in the style of participatory methods that aim to redress the unequal power relationships inherent in research such that researchers will share responsibility and knowledge with participants. And the intention of this approach is that the communities will determine the research agenda, participate in the process of, process of research, action and development. And in this group, she includes, and uh, many authors includes, include Paula Freire's Cultural Cycles, and we're going to talk about that later. By the way, uh, Camberley and Dimitriadis, in the third edition of the uh, classic uh, uh, dancing handbook, uh, good called Freire's groups as dialogic focus groups in critical pedagogical practice. So, you see? <laughs> It's a mix of, of everything. Well, uh, Green also mentions focus groups. She doesn't uh, mention uh, discussion groups because no uh, Anglo-Saxon authors mention discussion groups, but she mentioned the uh, focus groups coming from the market research. And uh, we have here a definition of Barbour, other of the classics uh, uh, in, uh, in her book, Doing Focus Groups in this collection, uh, Sage Publications col uh, Publication collection about uh, doing, doing interviews, doing uh, participatory research, doing observation, whatever. And uh, she says that any group discussion may be called a focus group as long as the researcher is actively encouraging of and attentive to the group interaction. So as you see, she stresses the uh, interaction as the main feature of focus group. Oh, well, finally, we mentioned that it's uh, not here, but we, we have to mention them. The natural groups that are used mainly in ethnography and have the same treatment than focus groups, uh, but they differ with focus groups in the composition of the groups. Um, like community interviews, participant, participants know each other before the discussion, because they are part of uh, a natural group, mm? and that doesn't happen or, um, in, in focus groups and, and um, discussion groups, okay? So, let us say something. Okay, go for the group dynamic. I want to, you to just uh, talk with your uh, partner or uh, the two people next uh, near you about what is your experience uh, using groups in research, if any, or if anything you thought you have about that. Uh, we can do this for five minutes or so, and then we can share uh, the discussion. Okay, I, I want to, to continue with, uh, with uh, this um, uh, group session, and um, in going back, no, going uh, deeply in some of these uh, uh, methods, again, we have here what Krugman and Morgan says, that there are groups that do not engage uh, discussion. So, uh, for example, uh, Fink describes consensus methods as the structured groups to collect and analyze information, and they place their emphasis on the production of immed immediate solutions to problems. And Morgan and Krugman, on their behalf, state that discussion are the data in focus groups. So Barber put uh, the stress in interaction, Krugman and Morgan put the stress in discussion, and uh, they say other types of groups bring people together to collect data through something other than discussions. Among the social science methods for, uh, for group data collect, are nominal groups, which bring together the separate ideas of participants and Delphi groups, which assemble the thoughts of expert panels. And Kissinger and Barbour th 
think that nominal groups are especially convened rather than naturally occur, occurring groups and often include ranking exercises to establish participants' priorities and concerns. And they state that certainly focus groups, and I would say also discussion groups, are not the same as uh, work involving Delph Delphi groups or consensus panels, where these are employed simply to facilitate an outcome of an agreed response rather than to upset the process of prioritization and decision making. And besides, we can find that many times these techniques look for consensus using questionnaires to collect data and aggregation statistics methods for the analysis of uh, data collected. Okay, so that is why we say, okay, we are not considering these groups that uh, engage in discussion. And some authors even could say that these groups are not qualitative uh, inquiry. Okay. Uh, let us move to the cultural cycles of Paulo Freire. Um, Monteiro describes these cultural cycles as dynamic spaces of learning and knowledge exchange that um, value the group experience and promote its participation in the construction of collective contextualized knowledge that is committed to transformation of reality. And she says that um, these uh, groups or these uh, cultural cycles consist on, of three dialectic phases. Okay? So there is a thematic investigation when the educators or entertainers, because they, they are mainly use these uh, cultural circles in pedagogical uh, studies, but also we could say uh, researchers, discover in the students or participants' vocabulary universe the generative words of the thematic contents of real life for them. Then there is the theming phase that uh, is when the themes are coded and decoded through the dialogue. The symbols gain social meaning and the participants gain awareness uh, of the world experience. And finally, we have the problematizing or pro problematization phase that uh, uh, th that phase include a process of action, reflection, action, where the participants in these cultural circles attempt to overcome the first magical view through a critical and social view, acknowledging then the limits and possibilities to transform the context experience. So these groups uh, um, are convened to have discussions, but they are not convenient only to talk, but also to uh, put into practice or uh, act. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a difference in this in this uh, kind of groups. Okay. But um, let us go to these uh, focus groups and discussion groups. And uh, I want to say that focus groups and discussion groups have a lot of similarities. In fact. Uh, in a way that uh, even when Spanish academics translate discussion groups into English to be published in a, an international context, they would talk about focus groups. Because being the methods uh, section, not very long in journals, uh, well, they, 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 uh, which accept, uh, accept papers of, you know, from uh, four to 5,000 words, it is not worth the effort to explain the difference between focus groups and discussion groups. And furthermore, uh, I found in Spanish published two classical, uh, two classic uh, handbooks of uh, focus groups, the one by Barbour and the one by Kruger, and they are translated as grupos de discusión that is discussion groups work in Spanish. And uh, instead of grupos focales, that could be the name in Spanish of focus groups. So, you know, here is <laughs> another thing to think. Okay, but of course they uh, have a lot of similarities 
And uh, the first one is, well, they are uh, focus groups and discussion groups are uh, small groups, usually six to ten participants. <coughs> they are brought, brought together to discuss uh, a particular issue, such as, for example, the use of information technologies in, uh, in the... Um, in the context of, of primary care to support people with chronic, chronic conditions. Uh, under the direction of a facilitator that have a list of topics to be discussed. And typically, uh, these groups last between one to two hours and include a, a mixed group of participants from different social backgrounds uh, they have these different social backgrounds like age, sex, uh, and things like that. But they have a condition of homo homogeneity, okay? Uh, for example, in the, in, the, um, in the example before, uh, we will, well, th this condition could be uh, that we, we, we could have a group of health professionals or a group of uh, family caregivers, or a group of patients, for example. So this is the homogeneity condition. The participant in the classic handbooks of focus groups and discussion groups, the participants do not know each other. Even they know, don't know the moderator, OK? And. Uh, well, the participants and the moderator uh, have um, uh, the focus in the centrality of the group in dynamics, and also the expertise of the moderator is needed for a fruitful discussion to occur, as you were saying, say, uh, saying before. Finally, we have that <coughs> we think that the participant engage in discussion but uh, we, we need a moderator, as we have said, that uh, create uh, you know, an environment for this fruitful discussion, but the moderator do, do, don't, do not push them to vote or reach a consensus. Okay? And this is another difference with the consensus methods. Even if we have, see, we have seen some experiences where there were very close topics to discuss, and it seems that we have to reach any kind of consensus. Okay. But let us move to some of the particularities that uh, Ivanev and the Madrid School of Social Theory um, assigned to the discussion groups. Okay, we have that each discussion in the discussion groups reflects and refract in a micro level a particular society and history time. And this is, this is possible because in the discussion groups, well, we call that, and uh, I was discussing with Denis yesterday because it's a concept difficult to understand in, in English, I know. But we call that a topological whole. A topolo topological whole because it's a whole that has a border. Okay? So this, the participants there are surrounded by a kind of frontier of time and a space which allow them, allows them to take the floor and position their chest. So they are, they are the stars in the discussion groups. Okay, because they even order the way of the topics are going to be discussed. Not because they have the topics in the in the table, and so, sometimes they they even not don't know the topics, but they know the general idea of the group and they uh, take the floor and they say what they wanted to say. Okay, and this is because we have created. This uh, well, this topological hole, this uh, uh, this space and time to have this discussion. Of course, again, because they don't know each other and they don't know the moderator, uh, it is an artificial group. 
created for that pu uh, purpose, okay? And we think that in discussion groups, we have a double pole. Um, the, we have the pole of the pleasure because to chat in, group, in a group is a pleasure, okay? But we have also the pole of work because these people join together, they have to produce a discourse for their researcher. So they are convened there to work for the research, okay? Uh, again, we have uh, the discussion format. And uh, this is a big difference of what is the dialectic per perspective. We are in a, a structuralist per perspective. So uh, the group only talks. They are not convened to uh, taking any action. There is no space for action. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the groups doesn't exist before or after the discussion group. Sometimes can, uh, it could be possible that they, uh, after the discussion group, uh, decide uh, to, to meet each other to, to uh, I don't know, create an association, for example, hmm? of mothers or uh, anything, okay? Well, uh, in these uh, discussion groups, the participants, Ivanjev called them the subjects, subjects and objects. We are calling them participants and topics because it's easier to understand. But the participants must be in a symmetrical relationship. Uh, Ivanjev said that it is not possible to uh, put together in a discussion because they have to be uh, symmetrical in, in terms of the, the, the dialogue uh, uh, being uh, produced. Uh, for example, we, we could not do a group with parents and children or uh, factory owners and, and uh, workers or uh, um, head, heads of nurse and nurses because the, the, the uh, discourse wouldn't uh, take uh, place. And the objects to be discussed should not be so emotional charged that participants cannot engage into discussion. For example, we have thought about mothers of uh, criminals discussing the death sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, we wouldn't... Uh, convene the, uh, them in a, in a discussion group, okay? So this is the, 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 the um, uh, Ibanez perspective, and, uh, and uh, this, uh, we, we can see that there are some subtle um, major differences in the, in, in the focus groups and discussion groups. The first one uh, I want to stress is the theoretical framework because uh, although both have their origins in the market research after the Second World War, and both uh, have their roots in the Merton's uh, work in the 30s, in discussion groups in the European style, we have a clear theoretical foundation in the linguistics, uh, we can name here Saucier and Chomsky, uh, the sem semiotics, and we have here again, Barthes. The hermeneutics and the structuralism. So those theories um, enlighten, in some way, the way we do uh, discussion groups. And uh, we found another difference, I don't know exactly or major difference, in the methodology. Because in discussion groups, there is an active recruitment to bring together particular profiles of participants. As the researchers try to create this microcosmos of the society. So um, I've read in some, in some uh, uh, authors that when you have your profiles, the, the profiles you want to convene in the, uh, in the um, group, in the focus group, you could randomly select any of the people that have this profile. Okay, we don't do that. 
we, we think that we have to look for the best person with this profile. It could be three people in a, in a uh, unit, but we need the one that has the, the, it's going to be the best. Mm -hmm. So we do that uh, with recruiters. Mm -hmm. Of course, in participatory action research and CVPR, participants meeting are also called discussion groups, but not in the same sense presented here. It is like there could be groups of discussion, putting the stress in the discussion that is generated in these uh, this participatory uh, groups, but they are not discussion groups in the sense that the, the discussion is, uh, is there because there is a group that can discuss, okay? So the stress is put in the group and not in the discussion. Oof. <laughs> uh, just the last one. In the data analysis, and I know this is, uh, this is evolving, and so probably uh, you could just discuss this also, or argue this. Uh, focus groups analysis is focused in key questions, like the topics that have been uh, proposed in the group. Mm -hmm. While uh, discussion groups analysis ex explores the discourses generated in the, in the discussion. Okay? So you can consider those uh, or these differences subtle or major, uh, but these are the ones that we could uh, uh, find. Mm -hmm. So let us see how we used uh, the <coughs> discussion group in, a, in an example. And this is a study about a stillbirth. And uh, the aim of this study was to explore. Are you okay if we just go with the sample and uh, later on we discuss whatever we want about this? Uh, thank you. So we have two aims, no? To explore the delivery experience of mothers and fathers. And we say both mothers and fathers because sometimes we forget the fathers. When an episode of late fetal death has occurred, as well as there are needs during the process, and also we want to explore the experience of healthcare professionals caring for these parents during labor and delivery, as well the difficulties encountered in this process. So what we are going to present here is the second uh, aim, uh, but I, we, I want to point some uh, concepts here, to, to bring some concepts here, here to explain. Because there are a lot of definitions about late detail uh, sorry, late fatal deaths. But we are going to uh, attach to the um, World Health Organization, uh, what, what, what World Health Organization recommends. And they recommend reporting of late fatal deaths, for example, third semester still works, at uh, more than a thousand, sorry, a thousand grams birth weight more than 28 completed weeks of gestation, and more than 35 centimeters of body length. And they give priority to birth weight, weight over gestational age, okay? This is the recommendation of uh, World Health Organization in 2016, okay? Um, so we have, we bring here the midwife's experience, and we have to say that, that that is also a particularity or a specificity, is that in Spain, uh, losses that occur after the 28 weeks gestation are attended by midwives as the reference healthcare professional. And the general care is similar to that provided during any normal vaginal uh, delivery. In Spain, uh, my wives are in charge of normal vagina, vaginal de uh, delivery. And uh, uh, only um, not, not normal or um, dystopic uh, deliveries are attended by obstetricians, okay? In this, uh, in this tax, they are assisted by nursing assistants. 
So those were the people that we convened, convened uh, in our uh, group, uh, discussion groups. And we did three discussion groups. And we mixed in these discussion groups some uh, heterogeneous um, criteria, like criteria like age, sex, training, or work experience, and some homogeneity, uh, homogeneous criteria, like the professional profile. So here are some of the specifics of the, of the characteristics of our uh, groups, of the, the participants. So we have 15 uh, midwife, wife, midwives, three nursing assistants. 15 of them were female and three male. The range of age was uh, 31 to 54. They were working in the hospital mainly, uh, 17 of them and only one in primary care. They have uh, less than five cases uh, attended, 12 of them, and six of them have attended more than five cases of stillbirth. Uh, mainly they have, they have been trained in Spain, 16 of them, and two of them have been trained as midwives out of Spain. And uh, midwife have, uh, midwives have, 10 of them have me, uh, less than 10 years of experience, three 10 to, 10, uh, to 20 years of experience, and two more than 20 years of experience. And in the case of nursing assistants, two have more than 10 years of experience, and uh, the last one has more than 20 years of experience, okay? So these were the uh, three discussion groups, and the first one was um, uh, discussion groups of uh, female midwives only, six female uh, um, midwives. The second one was with female midwives and female nursing assistants. And the third one was a mixed group of uh, female and male midwives, three and three, okay? And here are the working setting, the number of cases they attended, the place of training, and the experience of midwives or um, um, nurse assistants. What we did with this, uh, uh, with these discussion groups, is that we uh, analyzed this data, following uh, the the some of what Myers and Manhattan thinks about the uh, in 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 Barbour and Kruger in Barbour and I cannot remember the other author uh, in in this handbook of Barbour and yeah. Uh, anyway, these authors, Myers and Magnaten, says uh, say that identities are negotiated in the discourse. So what we did yeah. is that we looked at how the participants set up and work out, worked out roles in the group. So that is what we uh, uh, first did with our field notes. And we also, they, they also says that talk is organized moment to moment by the participants. So we looked at how they define content, content sections in the discussion. It is why we, we were telling before that the participants take the floor. So they, they decide, decided what to uh, explore. Mm? And also, uh, Miles and Magnaten says that talk is sequenced, one thing after another. So we consider the way that the, th the themes were explored and in what moment, okay? So, uh, these were the, our main results. Uh, in the first place, we have an authorized morning in stillbirth. Then we have that midwives think they are professionals of life or for life and not for death. And we found also that they said that they haven't any clue about how to work. They have no violence, no spaces, no collective reflection, no policies. Um, exploring deeply uh, some of these results, we found that they, they stated that some there were some factors that make the laws distinct in this unauthorized morning. They, they would say that they have lack of knowledge about how to uh, 
um, confront this uh, this money. They weren't they weren't used to these monies. Uh, they think that they, as part of the society, thinks that their, these monies were lesser value, have lesser value. It's not the same to lose a, a child with uh, uh, a 15 years old child than uh, 36 weeks non-born uh, child. And they didn't have to address what happens with the morning is that there is a loss of project, a loss of project, of a project with the new, this new baby. Uh, when we were, we, they talk about the professionals for life and not for death, they, they thought that they, there was a kind of reject uh, of attention to fetal loss. They avoid these cases. They thought that there was difficult to manage their own pain they, they, they set up their, uh, they were putting defensive barriers and they could, they, they could say that they could become marked by the, by the responsibility. The, the parents could mark them as the responsible of this death. Uh, when they talk about between life and death, they, they were storing this pole, the confrontation with normal attention and the experience and acceptance of that. So they tried to uh, just, uh, well, attend these people as the rest of the people they have, the rest of the parents they have. And uh, they, they said, okay, because of the low frequency of these cases, they really don't have any other clue to attend them. They have experience, they, they, they said that, or they stated that they thought that experience on acceptance of death was uh, 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 important. If they have any experience, they were more capable or more, uh, they had more capabilities to, to um, confront this uh, process. And finally, they uh, realized that they didn't have uh, the training uh, and the skills appropriate to approach this, uh, this situation. So lack of preparation in the curriculum, uh, and some of the difficulties that they, they stated were the management of silence, of silence, the silence that is created when, when that something that has to happen doesn't happen at all. There was going to be a baby, and it's not any baby at all. Furthermore, uh, you have to deliver via a vaginal a baby that can be completely shaped, but is deaf, so they don't know how to manage this silence. They don't know what to say. They don't. Uh, they, they don't know how to manage verbal and non-verbal communication. And uh, of course, they don't know what to manage. How to manage the information. And they realize that. Uh, there were some organization issues that they didn't uh, speak about them uh, normally. There was lack of consensus between hospitals, but also, but also within each hospitals. They don't have action protocols, and uh, sometimes there is a denial of facilitating actions. Uh, and there is also, uh, well, the, the, a lack of continuity of care after a hospital discharge. And there was some tacit agreement between the, among the professionals. Okay? For example, they dissociate vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable people or what they uh, thought they were vulnerable people from this process. If there was a pregnant uh, midwife, they would apart her from the process. If there was uh, a training uh, midwife, they would apart her from the process. Uh, in, in, uh, uh, because they don't want them uh, to suffer this situation. But of course, they, are, they were uh, just uh, uh, not providing them the opportunity of training uh, in this, in this uh, situation. Mm -hmm. So why, 
we think that a discussion group generated this information. We were thinking about this, and we thought, and we stated that, well, in this case, participants were recruited by someone who knows them for personally or professionally, and are selected them and selected them among several who fulfill the inclusion criteria. So we went to one uh, supervisor, for example, and we said, okay, uh, I need this profile, and she or he would look for the best person in, in this unit that uh, can uh, reunite these this, uh, different characteristics of the profile and could be the best person to uh, speak in a discussion group. Okay? The participants joined the group because they were they, they have this speci special experience and uh, because they were invited by the recruiter that they know personally. And th this is also uh, very useful because you guarantee the attendance of the um, people recruited because it's not that they are committed with the, with the researcher. They are committed with the recruiter. So they have to go to the group because they are committed with the recruiter. Okay? The group's uh, microcosmos of the universe of midwives practicing in the context, in our context in Madrid, uh, Spain, and their interactions in the group has the potential to reveal the key discourses in the field. And the moderator does not moderate the content, but rather creates this positive space for interaction so that the group can work and create this meaning making, uh, uh, create, sorry, meaning making discourses emerge. For example, uh, the moderator would uh, not allow one to one conversations or just in, invite someone that is silenced to participate in the, in the group discussion. And what happened was that this protected time and space, these boundaries, we were talking before the boundaries about this uh, topological whole, uh, allowed this uncomfortable conversation to happen. Because this topic was never spoken about in work settings. There wasn't a space for that. There wasn't a time for that. So it became an anecdotal situation, some, something that happened sometime, but they don't speak about that. And there were no questions from the researcher about the organization of the hospital. Is that uh, once the discourse of uh, the unauthorized morning emerged, this was brought by the participants, the participants themselves moved into reflection on the structures that create such condition. Where these women have their delivery, but furthermore, where these uh, women and their partners, partners were put after the delivery in a obstetrics unit where the rest of the moms have their babies there, in a gynecologist unit where there are no, no midwives and no one, the nurses there don't know what to do, so they close the door just to let the couple to be comfortable and not bother them, but the couple inside they don't know what to do. They don't know what to think. They don't know because there is a, something that had to happen, didn't happen. So they are not prepared to that. So we think that the discussion group technique or method, even methodology, uh, promote or, or uh, permitted this, uh, this course to a So, this is the 
this is uh, the, the time for questions and thoughts, and I would be very grateful if you have any. Thank you very much. <laughs>